Hi guys, I'm the Voice of Dog, and this is Magic Wand. This is a game by the Catamites, the uh, person responsible for Space Funeral, and a few other interesting games that I haven't really looked at yet, but intend to at some point. Uh, with me is a Raving Loon. Welcome. Yes. I know nothing. I know very little about this game. Oh yeah, you're right. You're right. We are. I did the thing again, didn't I? There we go. No, this is this is the screen. That that's the game. Well. Welcome. Once more lost amid the barren plains, his noble spirit spent upon unamiable subsistence, good Radigat searches for his friends. This game has some interesting perspective. This is a Unity game. Uh it had cubes and flat sprites, and you can pan around like so. It's a mouse and keyboard game, which I guess I guess makes sense given the controls. You can jump, and I think we have we have a knife. I have I have messed around on this screen enough to realize that. I haven't found anything in the grass. I like our I like our wizard, our wizard sprite. Pretty spry. Nice, and you just always have the option of panning around at any angle you choose. What a nice feature. I'm not sure what those guys are doing up there. Sometimes things just don't. Oh no! Into space and back. Good feature. Can we get more than one loop? Do we always fall on the ground? Can we get can we Mario Galaxy this? No? Looks like I'm falling on the exact same spot, but whatever. When you're a wizard, you can't really die from falling. Co uh, oh, oh, it's a course. His bodily form has perished. Okay, so maybe maybe we need some pockets. I'll have to, I will come back to you if I ever find a coat with pockets. Then I won't be able to fulfill your request. So uh, I saw recently, I, I saw this game when it was on uh, Itch.io or whatever, uh, you know, people use to distribute small games like this, and then it came out on Steam for for a very reasonable few bucks, so I figured finally I'd support them. Because, uh, Space Funeral was wonderful, but not something you can really sell, uh, due to the, due, due to the amount of copyrighted music you use. It was a nice found footage thing. Oh, that's a sound. Hello. Sir... Sir, do you wish to, to, I don't, I don't know, you're, you're, I don't know if I want to get violent with people in this world, it's very nice and chill. Alright, sir, you leave me no choice. Such is life. Oh, pots, nice. Should be swinging at more things. I cannot cut down trees. What are you? A bush ranger. If you have a pot, give it to me. Okay. I uh, unfortunately broke the ones that were next to you. Uh, do you accept broken pots? No. This sprite that indicates stuff you can cut. I assume that's grass, even though it looks nothing like grass. It's just a cube. It's just a suggestion of something it's you can mess. cut through. Yeah. There's a skull here. Also, I like this, uh, this top angle where our wizard is mostly flat. Nothing with skull. Hotel. Oh, hey. Thank you for your resubscribe. Sorry, I put, needed to put that on top. That's the thing that Maddie whipped up for me. 
uh, asked him to do a couple notifications for me. Sometimes Terry will fail to do the appreciation dance and just fall flat on his face. There's a random element to that. Big Doug is in town. What are these creatures? They look like toy cars. Having a nice, having a nice drink at the hotel bar. Here's a pot. Can I pick it up without destroying it? I don't have any pockets, so I guess I can only destroy. I got a thing. I think that's money. I have 5.08 money. Hey guys. We're summoning the dead. Nice. <laughs> Back in my day, we used to summon the dead with some sticks and some chalk and some pig's blood, and it was great. I only know what has been or will be. But Hamperdan is at the the train with an E station. The train station. <laughs> Radigit remarks that everything is going welly for him today. Hi. <laughs> Good. Good syntax. Good language. One, one coin? Is that a coin? Oh, that's a... Okay, it's a capsule machine. <laughs> Alright. Paper. That's actually a really good description. Oh, I just realized the giant... The giant 3D capsule. Yeah. One of the merges, it eats birds. Flannel. <laughs> so the sensors to detect more flannel. Flannel only desires more of itself. It will find everything that is like itself and form a giant ball. What a nice hotel. It takes unimaginable amounts of force to separate two flannel. <laughs> they have to build specialized machines for it, and it takes many, many years to complete. Sir, I see you there. I know you're one of the bad ones. Don't come any closer. Oh. I'm gonna sneak up on you. Oh, no. Okay. We're safe. Whoa. This place is pretty big. Interesting. <laughs> Hello. Okay, yeah, that checks out. Good. Turn it. Entity. Now this looks like a cipher, but it's probably not. I'm um, abstract abstract farmer. Farmer. Yeah. Abstract no, it's literal, even though yeah. it says it's abstract. It's, it's an accent. <laughs> Hang on, I need to turn you up a bit. You're only at 80% for some odd reason. That's a mistake. I apologize. Darn it. Turn it. Can I get to you guys finally? Oh, well, hang on. One, one, one free die for good luck. Yeah. This is by the space funeral. Guy? Girl? I don't know. Whoops. It's by the space funeral. It's by the... I have got to stop double jumping there. Maybe a different angle. One jump. One space bar. The Catamites, yes. Ah. Can I strike you? 
I will destroy you, sir. I think if you plan it right, you can probably launch yourself up there by falling. Oh, yeah, you're right. Loop around and try to land on the column. Oh, that's gonna be tricky. I'll give it a shot. Let's see. Oh! Yeah, Academites is one guy. That's that's the impression that I got. Oh my god. Alright, you have evaded me for now. You win. Oh! Oh! Oh no! Someone attacking me on the world map. Yeah, his website. The, the, the page he had for this is real nice, too. guys sneak up on you. Oh, oh, perspective. You tricked me. How about that? Alright, I'm ready for you. Yeah. I figured out the strat. Sir, can I yell up in your general direction? It seems like I can. Uh, sir, you should try traveling not too far from here. There's, there's a very nice hotel. Although he seems to be doing okay for himself. He's got a nice little tree house here. Oh. Nice, I have to adjust it myself to see inside this room. Well, thank you. Half of your home seems to be missing, but it's very nice still. Such a weird combination of sprites that were never really intended to be used with this kind of environment. Ah, uh, the sword is sticky. No one can pulley this enchanted sword forth. Hmm. That's a shame. These environments are pretty detailed, too. Oh. That's right, I haven't saved yet. Maybe I should save. There, I did it. What a nice menu, too. I don't know what this is, but... Soda? <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, so I picked up a few capsules. Dreaming of the way things used to be. Oh, I can take out my knife in the menu. There we go. There's a slime. Fight me. What's up there? Come like, on. Oh, I have fallen into a hole. Oh, there's something up there. Yeah, now we're getting started. Yeah. Using the, <clears throat> the repeated textures and the weird shapes to create the illusions you have to navigate. Mm-hmm. It's like trying to run through a magic eye <laughs> painting. I found a pot. Oh, I found a few pots. Oh god, everything is like the Mario RPG maze. Oh no.
funny thing about all these like short little quirky pixel games is that they're they're never in 3D. <laughs> Not yet. This is the exception. What's your deal over there? Can I jump? I cannot jump out of the ship. Ship is insurmountable. I have to climb the mountains. What continent is this? That's a good question. He's, like, attacking a monster or something and just also asking, where am I? The train station. Let's go to the train station. <laughs> All right. Well, we're no sucker. We're going in there. No. Well, so much for that. Yes, we're never getting inside. We'll never see Big Doug's death for it. Nice. All of this is mine. Your pots are forfeit. Oh, I missed one. No. No, you keep that one. Treasure it. <laughs> leave a witness. Oh no. Why did he leave them here? Uh, I don't know. Oh, wow. That was sudden. Uh-oh. I made a poor decision. <laughs> as, as we're being chased around. Have any of you seen Mr. Hamperdan? You too? You good? No, you don't. I'm gonna free you from your torment. They are worth more than my life. Don't be so down on yourself. You have value as a person, or as a sprite, or as whatever you are. That's a skull build. Uh oh. oh. These guys are hurting me. I gotta be careful. Just running through this guy's house, breaking all of his valuables and knocking some of his friends in the head. <clears throat> there are 144 additional cantos. We're good, thank you. There are. Oh, wow. They're hiding in the corners. They know I'm coming. Okay, I picked up one bottle. Oh, I picked up a soda, I think. Uh-oh. These guys do nothing but think about pots. You guys need to be freed from your obsession. I'm doing you a favor. There's more to life than just polishing pots and making them shiny. What are you? Are you... <laughs> it's just a ghost? Just a ghost in the cellar? Ah, the Count of Mont Big Doug. 
Hello, sir. I may have broken a few of your possessions. Uh, I decided your servants had to go, you know, live on their own terms. I'm sorry. I'm sure you'll find it in your heart to forgive me. No, we're doomed. <laughs> a big hole in the wall, just over yeah, yeah. Over here. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of... They're obsessed with it. That's all they can do. It does feel kind of like Solstice a bit. Rock candy? More Doug on the sub-levels. Get down there. On the Duggle. Ugh. These guys don't stop, do they? Mining. Forever for pots. I guess the pots occasionally have money in them? Maybe that's the goal? Maybe they don't know that money is its own thing? Smelter? Although that looks like a tank. Oh, more of those things, whatever those are. I played Mappy as a kid. I played Mappy Land on the NES. That was that was a game. That was a hell of a game. Are you bad? Because you look kind of... you look a bit scary. No. Everything must go! The sail says the sails force. Also, look at this hand. This, uh... This non-textured hand just sticking out of the ground. Good. Yeah, it does. Good room. Oh. Oh. The pots regenerate. No wonder why they're mining them. They just grow back real fast. It's an industry. Yeah. Highly monetized. Highly. Highly monetized, high monetization potential. Words. Oh no. Eight point one coins. Very nice. <laughs> oh, I'll crush him. Okay, I'm way over here. God, these rooms are laid out so strangely that you actually have to... Oh, nice. Thanks for the bits. You actually have to turn the camera to know where you're going. <laughs> Neat little detail. I denoodle all my foes. Please stop waving that thing around. I'm low on health. What, what, what will a soda do? Okay, it'll heal me. All right, good. I have one remaining soda. Fight me. Oh. Oh, he's got backup. 
let's get rid of you. Still taking unnecessary damage. Okay, you very much screwed up sending your attack way over there. Oh, uh, now I run. Nice. Oh no, Big Doug was Trip Doug. You're the only one surprised by that. He was just three of us in a larger coat. I hope you guys learned your lesson. I hope any of you know which way to the train station. <laughs> it was supposed to be through here, but we're still here. Wherever this here is. We're dugging. Oh. Is that a soda? Yes. Oh, he's got a capsule machine in here. Asco. Immoral and eats birds. Hey, we found us. We got the us card. Clyde the horse stealer. Oh, nice. It's a good cat. <laughs> I'm drink another soda because we're hurt. A lot of strong men here. Happy box. Hooper Doodle. Spig Track Fruitsar. I'm glad you got all that squared away. <laughs> Guys, what does a knife think about? I don't know. Knife, do you do you want to meet Dagger? You guys might get along, maybe? See anything you like? Eh, some, some interesting things. I took some of it. <laughs> Stick. I guess the knife and fork have gone rogue. I'll leave you guys to deal with that. Okay, I think maybe this could be the train station? I don't know, you tell me. I don't know. I don't know what's happening here. We don't have tickets. We'll come back. Is it a bat? It's a nice bat sprite. Train Scalder. It's a tough job. Someone's got to do it. Good guy for stepping up to that. Only complaint is that the jumping is a little weird. You have to be moving in a direction to jump in that direction before you hit the button. Although I think playing with the controller would definitely fix that. I bet you could set this up to work on two sticks. That would work.
commert commert sir travel everyone's name is unpronounceable Though, if you don't get enough sleep, then the whole world starts to look like this. You don't want that. It's Hamper Dan. <laughs> I no you not. I am busy. Hamper Dan, we've been looking for you, I think. Well, can I have a ticket? Ticket map? Ticket Moe's? <laughs> no? Oh, we're just on the train. Okay, good. We did it. Multiple hamperdans. <laughs> okay. I, see you, I, see you, I, I was led to believe you were a distinct entity, but I see now I was wrong. Which hamperdan are we looking for? <laughs> Will any do? Hi, welcome back to Last Express. I'm the voice of dog. Sir, this is not your room. You don't belong here. No hamper dan in this sector. That's a why don't you like hamper dan? Sim Similar absence of Hamper Dan. <laughs> the cats want the crystals. That checks out. There's a Hamper Dan. Some Hamper Dan's here. Oh, I'm sorry. You're doing a portrait thing. Cool. Yeah, no. I won't. Yeah. You guys are good. Don't worry. Hey, Happerton, what's up? Happerton continues to pretend to not know who we are. Dude is rude oh, as hell. The wrong Hamperdan. This nice little little set piece and this nice little moving background. It conveys the right feeling of motion for this. Uh, Hamperdan number seven thousand. What are we gonna do with you? Uh, this year is all quite vexing. Are, are these are these cats? Yeah, these are cats. Cats, I can still see you in the dark. Bumpy. <laughs> okay, so it's hard enough to navigate blind or not having the proper perspective. But this, it's a little different. Okay, we're in the dining car, I think. Are you good slimes? You're not bad slimes? I have my knife. I hate the ghost train. All pots will die. Oh, soda. Almost missed you. The apiary. Nice. Let's go get some bees. Right? That's an apiary? Bees. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. You were hiding in there. I didn't see you. You're, you're ruining me. Oh, no. <laughs> Why can't I hit you? No, don't come in here. No. Okay, we have been locked into the dining car by this. Okay. <laughs> gonna have to be careful of you. Oh, well, there's another knife. Oh, there's two more of those guys. Oh, no! Okay, good. <laughs> Are you going to betray me too? Knife betrayed me. I don't know who to trust anymore, frankly. Mooncastle. 
Yeah. You guys. You gotta be careful. Make your move. Okay, they take two hits. You just take... You just take... You just have a very short range, so you have to be mindful of that. What happens if I fall off of here? I cannot fall off train. Surprised I didn't try to do that, like, immediately. I was too captivated by talking to all the people on the train. I have traveled all this way to kill you. <laughs> Can you hang on for a sec? I'm trying to do some... Trying to do some stuff. Trying to find Hamperdan. You know, you know the one. That Hamperdan. Sudden loathsome. Su sudden lonesome. Transport wary. That should be a word, transport wary. It's just us. Oh, that's that a ham. There's a hamport dam. Hamport dam. The airport. Yeah. Hamper Dan's eyes are glassy. He does not hear my plea. Hamper Dan, why do you go so far out of your way to ignore us? What, what did we do to you? Did we do so? Did, are you mad at us? Also, what nice clouds? I like these clouds. These backgrounds are good. These backgrounds that are, you know, outside, behind the isometric plane that this game takes place on. Beach Town, yeah! Except you're not letting me go through to be, do I have to climb over Hamper Dan here? This guy hates my guts already. I kind of don't want to bother him. Dan, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Sorry, I just wanted to do a nice pan. Take it all in. Yeah. Oh, good. Mose is moving. All right, good. I have solved the puzzle. Beach town. Nice. Weird, since I've started this game, I've just kind of gone in the direction and not really thought about it. No idea if I'm seeing all of it or none of it. Turns out there's a lot of it, I think. <laughs> wow, there's some stuff over there, huh? All kinds of things. I don't think this is the only overworld I've found. I think this is the second overworld I've found. Yeah, and I, I walked into that. one place on there. You can't get... Okay, we need... There are verbs, I see. <laughs> Ball, you get down here right now. Ball is done. Dying apple. <laughs> Cowboy is kind of like a wizard, right? That's a kind of wizard. Oh, I see someone hidden over here. Can I get to you? It looks kind of tricky. I don't know if I can get there. It's really hard to tell where you're going to end up when you when you jump off the world. It's unpredictable. What direction must I jump in? Opposite maybe? The uh the 
the way I should go? Hmm. Is there... Oh! My bad. Wait, how did I get there in the first place? Alright, I'm just gonna well, go with it. <laughs> yeah, I'm here. Whatever. I'm Crambot. Cram Crambot. My god, the consonants in this game that are mashed next to other consonants that they shouldn't be next to and do not make really easily uh, made sounds when you do that. Castle Pokey is under the protection of the wind door. Now I must smash it to undo the spell. This is a really nice office for a crab. It is, actually. Look at you got a fountain in the middle. Some art. Got some treasure. Paintings. You got three bookshelves. That's real nice. Thanks. friend. The magic block. Alright, I'll, I'll let you know if I find that. Are any of these the magic block? They're pretty colorful. Yeah, it's a very good environment for a crab. Very productive. It's made so they can, you know, get to all the necessary uh, objects by scuttling back and forth. It's designed for crab movement. It's optimized. These cacti do not seem to speak. <laughs> it's very satisfying every time you do it and you just fall back down. Okay, so that was that area. Okay, here's where here's where I was before. I was trying to jump off. Yeah. There, there was like oh. There's a couple of angles I need to try here. Maybe I don't launch myself as much. No, that doesn't seem to change it. Oh, I see. These places have additional screens. That sprite is, I like it. Some kind of mammal. Jim Chim. It's a monkey. Fountains art filled up with blood. Oh no, not blood. Do you want help with that, or is that a good thing? Is that good? I like how these places often have, like, height to them. They're not... They're, they're very rarely just flat. They actually have... You actually really need to look around. Really understand the topography. If that can be done in the given situation. Also, am I stuck here? I don't think I can fall down. Oh, no. Have you destroyed yourself? I may have destroyed myself. No, Radicate, no. Chim Chim, can you help? Chim Chim, please help. Chim Chim. Uh. <laughs> it's a nice little, uh. Oh, nice. They have, they actually have a different capsule. That's my movement. Whoa. 
well. I guess. Do I have to load? Shit, I'm back here. Well, that's fine. We'll do it. I'll run through the train. Save and save often, kids. You never know when your adventure may just end. Also, I'm gonna whack you in the head a bunch. Three dig dugs in a, in a suit. Oh no. What is that? Oh, I'm negative two. Oh no, negative four. Wait. How did I not die there? I wonder if you can die. Right. We talked to Knife and Fork, made some friends. Right, train. There were many Hamptons. He pretended to not know us. That was very rude. Just a quick recap in case you forgot what happened in the last 10 minutes. Go through Cat Tunnel. Coffee delicious. Soda. I'll take that. Okay, you guys. I'm ready for you. who has sworn to kill me, but uh, we don't have time for that, so he's gonna have to take a rain check. Right. Okay, we're gonna be careful in Beach Town now. Ding. Let's go over here. Let's go to city. No. Whatever this castle is. Rubber ball. I've seen a ball. It was very reluctant, though, and I don't think it wants to talk to you. Oh. Oh, I'm stuck in a corner. Come on, Rowdy, you can do it. Yeah. Oh! I did it! <laughs> I did the move. Nice. <laughs> That's true. The world has been over for a long time. You guys just didn't get the memo. This, uh, this recolored rat to get here. Other wizard. Wizard Cat has the right idea. This guy has some soda. He knows. It's the source of their power. Oh, no! Let's do that again. I bet I could do that easily because it's so big. Maybe not. Maybe I got lucky there. Fell off the exact correct part of the world. That's right. Uh...
fake ghost. Nice to meet you, fake ghost. Actually, that was, yeah, that was everything up here. All right. Good castle. God, it feels like all of the assets in this game, they're all, like, from different places or have different perspectives or, you know, the 3D stuff next to these these cubes. It's such a weird juxtaposition. What are you? Are you a thing? Oh, I can just walk out in the ocean. Nice. Can I walk off the edge of the flat earth? No, I cannot wade too far out. City. It's all very expertly made to disorient. Yo. <laughs> <clears throat> it's funny because Space Funeral was also pretty disorienting, but in a different kind of way. Nice. I did it again. I can only do it by accident. There you go. Oh. Oh man, this. Oh, you what? Weren't standing on what you thought you were. Oh no, Blight Town. Why? Here it is. It's right here. You navigate to these ghost dinosaurs. Oh no, they're birds, and they're having none of it. Never mind. Oh, there's a there's a path up there. Okay. This level is particularly dense. That's kind of impressive. Come back at night. Come back to the milk bar at night. Really, though, they're only open at night. It's kind of a problem. What if you need milk during the day? Ah! Alright. Where will I end up? Up here! Yeah! That... That was extremely lucky. That was super lucky. Killed it. Did you see that? That was awesome. Moon World. Maybe we'll get to go to Moon World. That would be nice. I bet there's a Moon World somewhere around here. Are those pants? Are you pants? Welcome to Pants Temple. Thank you. I think this is where I've been trying to go. This is where I wanted to be my whole life. Pants World. We made it. Okay, farewell, Pants. I love you. This place does have, like, a nice circular design, though. It's Discernible once you once you rotate around and realize that it's circling around these things. That's another is that another exit or the one I started at? Oh. Hello? Oh man, the seaweed store. Nice. Unfortunately I only have eight point one monies. I do not have six thousand or thirty five hundred monies. I apologize. Perhaps someday. I did not mean to cut you. a lot of pots to afford seaweed. Yeah. This is the city, I guess. This is where the good stuff is. But you gotta... You gotta pay for it. They've got what you want for the right price. God, how did I do that again? Even better this time. I guess it's pretty easy to do on this on this map. Oh, this is different. Oh, wow. 
This is a different store, I think. Is this tomato store? What is this? Apple Temple. Our sword is now filled with the power of apples. Okay. I mean, I don't see it, but I guess, you know, it's a faith thing, right? You just believe it's there. The apple key, you say. <laughs> Something I should remember to do once in a while. Okay, so then I guess the question is, how do I get back to the world map? Where was the arrow in this? The correct one. There it is, over there. Yeah, it was a good background. I like that. Oh no! Oh, damn it. Okay, made it. I have made it back to land. Ah, bar. <gasps> Clyde! I know you. <laughs> what are you so sad about? I don't remember. Oh. Oh, are we hanging out with Clyde? Nice. Also, his name's Clyde, not Claude, Radigat. Get it right. A treasure never to be discarded. Oh, we're okay. Yeah, ride, ride the ramp. I don't know if we should ride horses with the guy who steals horses. Is this our horse? Is he lending us one of his horses that he stole? Because that's probably okay. We can still attack. Clyde and Radiget are having a very nice conversation right now about capsule toys. <laughs> now they're singing a song. Okay. Very good. <clears throat> you can only sink deeper into the... Ch <laughs> That's true. It could always be worse. Oh, these are skeletons. No. No pots here. Oh! Why do I keep running? Okay. Something else was hurting me, but I guess not. Just weird positioning. Balloon. Oh, look at that nice little airship over there. That, that little tub with two propellers attached to it. Just kind of meandering about over there in the sky like it doesn't know how to move. There it is. <laughs> a lot of people want to kill Radigat, but he just he just basically says, nah. Oh, crab. Hello, ball. That's always the worst, when you have a dream and you can only remember how you felt about the dream. No context. Oh! He figured it out. Sir, you are also a rubber plant. Does that mean you move around at night? Sir, you should be an expert on the thing you're talking about. It doesn't check out. 
Oh no! I'm sorry, sir, what were you saying? Oh, okay, you're not Tom Body. Good. I hate that guy. little world map. Oh, I kind of forgot about these flat clouds. They're also great. When used in a variety of places just spinning and not quite filled in all the way or or not quite in the lines went a little crazy with the brush tool what do we got here an orb okay there's a f fortune teller but there's just an orb here uh-oh Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Oh no. You broke it. What have I done? I'm gonna drink a soda. Oh shit. I can't even go back in there. The sonar, the broken sonar won't let me back in the room. Look, this is the first thing that has affected literally anything. <laughs> it's a really nice track, though. Oh, nice. No, it's fine. It's fine. This is supposed to happen. We're going for a swim. Now we can break gravestones. I like uh, some of these. Some of these instruments here are also in Hylix. Uh, oh man, it's looking like we extinguished all all light. <laughs> it's just kind of all going dim, and it's not coming back. Is the trick to bring back the sun orb because some jerk accidentally broke it. Uh. Whoa! All right, hang on. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. This is happening suddenly. This is a powerful magician. He is taking damage. He's also on top of me. Hey, question mark blocks. I can only hit him inside him. Oh no. Also, does doing damage to things kill me? Got all your health back. Yeah, I don't know why I did that. I love this arena that is just littered with traps that I am afraid to traverse most of. Oh, I'm at negative 20. Negative 34. Negative 54. At what point do I die? 
Negative 94 points of health. I see. I'm putting all my damage in, a dim in some other dimension where it doesn't hurt me. Where I don't experience any kind of pain whatsoever. Oh. Hey, uh... Do you know anything about, uh... About an orb, maybe? Like, uh... <laughs> Sir? I'm gonna have to ask you to stop gravitating towards me. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, there's another one down there. It was hidden. You son of a bitch. I will stop you. I will break all of your orbs and then I will stop you. Clearly you have placed your soul into these objects. <laughs> oh god, so now I gotta find these things, probably. Oh! What are you doing? Over there. I got tired. Oh? Yeah. <laughs> now you are dead. Uh What are you what are you doing? Okay. Hamper Dan, how's it going? Sounds! It's Hamper Dan! I was just committing homicide upon this young person. Ah. Okay, those guys just explode. <laughs> beep beep, I'm an airship, out of my way! Make way for air chip. Air chip, sorry. Air chips. I like that magician. That was a powerful magician. Ah, hello, pants. Hang on, I need to talk to my friend Pants. Gene Wrangler is nice. I see you still live. Somehow. Oh. Oh. Oh, I'm down here. That's why I'm stuck. There's a lot going on on this screen. I wonder if I can do a jump. Maybe I can jump. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> He's swinging a thing 20 times. Oh, there's an airship up there. That's what we're getting on. Okay, that's a start. save here at negative 472 health? Yeah, you know, it's okay. Thou standest in Night Town. Well, it wasn't Night Town, but I kind of killed the Sun Orb, and now I think the whole world is different, or maybe I've gone to an alternate world? Or it's more like reality becoming a nightmare, or whatever Harry Mason says when he's trying to describe the other world in Silent Hill. It's like my head tries to make sense of it, and then it goes blank. So is milk bar open now? Oh shit, you're right. 
Well, I haven't been able to get back to the the world map, and I'd have to I'd have to like think about it. Oh no, it's bad again. Our evil twin. Trying to make a living as a fortune teller. Oh no! No, I was about to talk to that guy. Come on. You can't do that to me. I don't know if it's a Moonside reference. It's just we did a thing and we're in this world now. Here we are. You're here. Enjoy. How the hell do I get over to this dude? I love these signs. He's just floating like neon signs in the air. They're they're kind of neat. I like these uh, these air squiggles here. Made it. Terror instinct. Okay. All right, we're back. I mean, a million gold for to eat a spider? Like, I, I think I do that five times a year by default, so... A little harder to discern what is... Oh, this Clyde. Let's go talk to Clyde. Let's see if I can make my way over to Clyde. Night clothed flannel garb me. What a cool dude. Okay. Oh yeah, the the way they phrase that is kinda like when they when you first drop into Moonside. Hmm. How do I get back up? Think. I think it involves jumping off of the world. I think I was right. Maybe. What good instruments they picked for the soundtrack of this. I guess I need to get to the airship, which... Alright, here's a bridge that's kind of tricky to see. Hamperdan. Hamperdan, yeah. <laughs> Three dollars! Sorry, Hamperdan. I remembered. I know why you're mad at me. I bought... You bought me a sandwich, and I didn't pay you back. I'm sorry. Oh. Oh, we were at cutscene. Esteemed Meldolio. Take the flight. Sails. Sun with the plum. Days <laughs> of illumination. At Holy Moon. That's a collection of words. I'm free, says Cloud. Are you gonna hurt me again? Hey! These guys are jerks. Alright, welcome to... Pink Cloudland. Nice! These are just like... Oh, there I go. Oh! Oh no. I have fallen out of the clouds. Chim Chim, how's it going? Oh no, this is Monk. I'm sorry. You guys! You guys! Need to chill a bit.
Cloudland. Fantasyland, apparently. Things as refugees in strange cloud land. Oh. oh no. Oh, I seem to have recovered 90 HP somehow. <laughs> Nice! Airships. <clears throat> oh, that heals us, I see. I guess they keep showing up because we're at negative 300 health. <laughs> so eventually, they'll ha they'll, they won't need to show up anymore. That's a nice, nice little sailboat there. Herbs, oh, herbs, herbs, purloined. Yes. This game makes it hard to pronounce words. Orb, orb. Some days I don't think that I'll ever get the orbs. You can't think about that. You gotta think positively. Elemental crystals. <laughs> I love these. Cl I love that these clouds are the only non-square thing in this game, and they stand out so much. Well, I guess the balloon also. I didn't mean to do that, but it's okay. Look at this. And all these nice airships. Which are different designs. <laughs> I stole this airship, and now I'm going to the moon. That guy's got his priorities straight. No pockets. We still don't have pockets. I wonder if you can actually get pockets in this game. I'm morbidly curious. We've heard a number of requests for various things. Who knows if you can do any of them. I guess it doesn't really matter, does it? That is a good looking banner on these flags. Yeah, it is. <laughs> oh no! Okay, good. I like how there's just cloud vapor hanging around the airship bay. The air dock. Oh. This area has some height to it as well. No idea how I'd get up there. jump on the balloon from below. No, I always seem to end up back here. This is the place where we return when we fall off the world. Also, I just realized that you can navigate by just dragging the camera around. 
I didn't really think about that. <laughs> That's true. You're free. to take the skill sphere. Oh. Hey, thanks for the bits. The world is a loop. Those flat earth and spherical people are both wrong. That's true. Also, yeah, I did get a, I did put on a text to speech. I forget which accent I chose for it. I think it's for a hundred bits or more. As well as donations and the like. How did I get here anyway? It was from over there, I think. Yeah. No idea how to get the cloud ship up there. Okay, so you are hurting me for a very small amount, and when I explode you, you heal me. Sky Quay. I like these bouncy clouds. What happens if I fall off here? Do I end up back on the screen? It does put me back on the screen. happening over here oh they're ha okay they're fighting with death I'll leave you to that I'm sorry <laughs> I knew my life would end in the sky I get stuck on the back of this or something. Oh no! No, I don't think I'm getting in or on top of that. There doesn't seem to be anything on it either. Perhaps Sky Quay is the way forward. I need to navigate that way. Welcome. Thank you. Right. Oh, hey. on here. I, I wonder if that's like a set thing. They made it so that you just spawn. Seems that way.
That's another path out. This is where I should be going. Hey, 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 hey. Thank you. Almost in the black on health. Thanks for the resubscribe. Ah, oh, this painter guy. I like how a lot of these characters are just reoccurring. <laughs> Investigative reporting on Cloudland. Can you eat clouds? Are they delicious? Alright, maybe this isn't the job for you then. Oh, there's probably other places you could be useful. You should you should ask your management. You should go to HR. Oh, hang on. The hitbox on these things is very strange. There. One more and we'll have six health. Six whole health. This guy seems just one bad day away from quitting. I think you need a vacation. Oh, I see. Oh no. Okay, I'm at negative 26. That's not where I thought I would... Hmm? What's that sound? Also, knife. I see you over there. Oh, no. Oh, fork, you too. Fork is fast. Very dangerous. Wait, you guys are absolutely obsessed with these things. You can't fool me. Watch. I'm about to do this, and you guys are going to be really bothered by it. Yeah, what do you think now? Yeah, he'll come around. I know it. Oh no. Will this turn... Will this make everything nighttime? Okay, it didn't this time. Maybe it was just... <laughs> maybe it was a replica sun orb. Rejax, thank you for the host. Much appreciated. Magic stuff. To build I magic ray. Why? Uh, science. Don't question it. We don't know if we can make a death ray until we make a death ray. So, clearly the, the strategy is to make a death ray. Positive health, finally. We finally did it. <laughs> now it's Crab Pot who has you magic balls. I can't deny that. Never mind, I just did. Oh, I almost missed you. I love these backgrounds, this background in particular, this this Toe Jam and Earl ass background. I should be the scrolling by. The backgrounds are often flat and static. Yep. While the world spins in front of them. Yeah, so these two things sit apart from each other but are very distinct. Oh no, can I not go back? Oh no, oh no. Oh well. Ooh. I fell into the trap. A moss in ye works. Nope, haven't heard that expression, sorry. Well, have we reached the moon?
Oh, I think we have because I'm jumping very high and to have very little control. We have reached Moon World. Finally, space. <laughs> Sure, we're there now. Oh no, the four crystals have been broken. Wait, Hamper Dan. The beacon of courage. Hamper Dan, were you the bad guy all along? Hamperdan, I can't let you get away with this. <laughs> Clyde has been possessed by a great evil, and he also stole my wallet. <laughs> I demand you exterminate him as fast as possible. I don't know what these things are, but I like their sprite. They just kind of meander about. Good. Can't hurt them the way it should be. <laughs> these ethereal faces, these spooky faces just floating, it's clearly meant to dissuade us from going further. Darkness, negation, power, egg, salad. Oh no. Well, oh. no, I don't have time. don't know if that worked. I think I may just be running into them every time. Oh no. Oh wow. Uh. Oh no. Oh no, the apple. What? The apple is trying to kill me? Yeah, they are. Did you guys do this? Is this your fault? I'm sorry, Apple Tech. Clearly, the, the apples have grown beyond your control, and you are now being vanquished by them. This is how it ends. But we have the power of apples. No, you don't, apparently. Apparently, that was fake power. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh no! There you are. Are you still here? Are you alive? Do I need to bop you in the head? Should have splurge on magic armor, yeah. I guess these things are like Magitek armor. That's what I'm getting from that. Some great conflict happening here. We're gonna infiltrate the fortress. Oh wow, these guys aren't dying. Those guys are not dying. Those guys are certainly not dying. And I cannot jump. I am trying very hard to jump right now, but I cannot. Uh, well then. <laughs> I have been repelled. Just still throwing those sounds at me. I guess I will backtrack slightly. Although...
Although I need to figure out which way to go again. I don't think it was that bad, though. Return to space. Yeah, we're back in fantasy land. Was it there? Is that backwards or forwards? Well, I guess we'll find out. <clears throat> the bubble sage? I don't think we've talked to a bubble sage. I don't think I've been here before. <laughs> Ah, yes, yeah. Hello, Hamper Dan. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Will do. Will do, Mr. Bogeyman. Well, I'm glad I, ha I had to reload, because now we found this. <laughs> that moment when you realize you've launched yourself into space. Alright, these guys were fighting to the death, I think. There was a tall tower that I could not do anything with. That was around here. Oh wait, it was Sky Quay. Right, right. need to make any particular jumps. You're on strike. Let me go into the basement. Run from knife and fork. Trust neither of them. All right, I can talk to the, I can, I can, oh, there's an orb here I didn't break. There we go. Now I feel better. <laughs> Sounds like you need a career change. All right, back to the moon. Welcome. Talk to these faces, right? Okay. so weird looking compared to the rest of the game. I love it. Okay. Let's not do the thing we did last time. 
Although... That seemed lucky. I love these blocks kind of glitching out. Not sure what they want to be. Hail Satan's. <laughs> the curtain temple down the street. Bob's discount curtain temple. something going on, it seems. <laughs> Sounds like we're getting further away? Oh, there's a thingy. Could it be? Take one, maybe? One that has pockets, maybe? <laughs> Cactoid is mad at us. We'll be out of your hair in just a second, Mr. Cactus. Please be patient with us. It takes time to navigate this strange, confusing world. <laughs> Sometimes you have to fall off the world at just the right angle. Oh no, the pots all turned into chests, and I can't break them now? Oh, this is the worst. A horrible thing that could happen. Hey, Hampertan. How's that destroying the world thing going? <laughs> the magic wand was mine now, wasn't it? magic wand? Do you have the wand? Are you a wand? There's also a good background. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, this thing looks sweet.
Oh, the flannel's asleep. Captain Blood? Weren't you in Space Funeral? I'm pretty sure you were in Space Funeral. What are you doing here? So we're back here. Oh, no. Oh, the hotel is full of people now. <clears throat> Big Doug. It's nice to meet you, Big Doug. Everyone's here, it seems. Hey, Clyde. <laughs> So what happened? Uh mm -hmm. stuff. <laughs> Holdy, is that a capsule machine? Verily. It dispenseth but but for free. The hot dog. Magic wand. Stephen Gil Murphy, I guess that's his real name. Good, good to finally know. Stephen the Catamites, Gil Murphy. Interesting stuff. Magic wand. So yeah, you can wander around and get stuff. It's a game you wander around in. There's colors and shapes, and it's pleasant. It doesn't have a big, giant point to it. It's enjoyable exactly for that. As it closes. It's a real maze. As it closes on me. <laughs> it's over now. All right, let's take a quick break. Uh, like a 10, 15 minute break. Let me eat something. And uh, I'll be back with Hylix. And uh, that'll, be, that'll be interesting. So we'll see you soon.